Look out. Sir, I bring an urgent message from my father, from Saradzig and Hanish. <laughs> I take it you've heard. What does your father want from me? I found out who's behind all the unrest in the region, and father and Hanish have decided to put an end to it all. What? So who is responsible for all our recent troubles? You may have met him, Istvan Toth. No, I haven't met him. But Sir Radzik said he'd been here to visit before... before the raid. I don't suppose that's a coincidence. What kind of man is he? What is he after? He's in the service of King Sigismund, and he's fighting the nobility who support King Wenceslas. They've amassed quite a force at the old stronghold above Sasau, and they're planning to attack very soon. Father and Hanush have decided to move first and destroy him before he's prepared. Oh. For Christ's sake. When and how? Tonight. They send word for you to muster your men and rendezvous with them at Vranjik. This is madness. <sighs> Maybe it is. But I fear that Radzik and Hanish are right. The sooner we cure this pestilence, the better. Gather the men and make ready. We march tonight. Leave only as many as you must to guard the castle. Very well, sir. As you command. Will you be coming with us? Yes, sir. I have some scores to settle with them. to miss the show. You didn't expect me to leave all the glory to you. Never. We wouldn't dream of starting without you. What news? Did you parley with them? <laughs> we did. Yeah. And what was the outcome? <laughs> Not quite what we hoped for. Radzig wanted to go parley with them in person. Fortunately, I talked him out of it. <laughs> it seems that this will not be resolved without a battle. Bloody good thing, too. Finally, we'll have some proper entertainment in the countryside. Fortunately, my son here showed immense daring and made his way into the lion's den to spy on them. Tell us what you saw, lad. What do you want to know, exactly? Well, let's start with how well fortified they are. The outer palisade goes right around the whole camp. On a small hill inside it, there's a half-demolished farmhouse that's ringed by another palisade. That's where I was held prisoner. And that's where Toth's based. Him and his inner circle. Can you tell us how many tents there are and how they're arranged? There might be 50, maybe three score. Most of them in the right-hand side of the camp. And the men? How many men strong are they? Quite a few. At least 80. Huh. We don't number much more than that ourselves. We do outnumber them, though. 
even if only by a few men. And our men are well armed and disciplined. The foe, nothing but a rabble. From what I've seen, it's best to attack from our direction. How does it look from the other sides? The east side is all rocks, so no hope of launching a major assault from there. On the other hand, that's the way I escaped. It's where they throw all their waste. The heap's already so high, it's almost to the top of the palisade. Now that is interesting. The ramparts are long. If there are as many of them as we think, they can hardly keep watch over the entire length. Attack with full force at the gate, and they won't have enough men at the rear. That's an excellent strategy. But then I'd expect no less from you. If we cause an enormous uproar at the same time, they won't know what's hit them. Uproar? You said they have tents there? Yes, sir. Well, if I'm not mistaken, tents usually burn rather well. And we have quite a few archers. <laughs> you don't do things by halves, Divish. So, I believe we have a plan. Robard will take ten men and sneak to the rear of the fortifications. There's an entry point, but you must remain hidden. I will do my best, sir. That shouldn't be too hard. They'll have other things to worry about. The rest of us will launch a frontal assault. Rain burning arrows on them and then attack. Those bastards won't know which way to turn. At that point, Robard and his squad will strike from the rear. I think it's a good plan. God be with you, my friends. We'll wipe those whore sons off the face of the earth. Listen up now. We are about to meet the rabble that have been trying to hurt us. Pillaging, killing, raping, and generally being a thorn in our side for long enough. They may be hiding behind a stockade, but they are still a pack of curs who are no match for men like you. And tonight, we are going to festoon these trees with corpses. First, we will set fire to their little hornet's nest. Then we'll keep them busy by the gate. And when we've made it nice and hot for them, Sir Robard and his men will pounce on them from the rear. And we will hack them to pieces. Have you got it? Yes, sir. Good. Now, when we reach the ramparts, the archers will cover the men climbing it and the men with the battering ram. Any of these fuckers foolish enough to stick his head outside the stockade is to lose it at once. Understood? Yes, sir! Glad to hear it. Now, let's do it! Forward!
Hungarian bastard. Why isn't he here? Don't tell me no one was in command. It does rather look that way, Hanush. Henry, where's Top? You said he was here. He definitely was, sir. I've got the cuts and bruises to show for it. You have to find out where he slithered off to. Look for clues. Anything that will tell us what he's doing. Hmm, there's something...
So this was all I could find. A letter? What does it say, Radzig? Alongside hunting, drinking and swordplay, you might find time for a little study, old man. In the courts of Prague, every Tom, Dick and Harry can read nowadays. Yes, well, here in the countryside, we don't give a tinker's curse about such things. Huh. That's what I've got a scribe for, anyway. Now, what does the damn thing say? It appears to be written by Toth, but it doesn't say to whom. It says, everything is going according to plan, and the castle should soon be taken. Castle? What castle? What does he need a castle for? Sir, we took this one alive. And it seems he's not just some ordinary spear carrier. Where's that rat Toth? Where did he go? Speak, damn you! <sighs> He's thwarted you again, hasn't he? <laughs> if you play your cards right, you might come out of this in one piece. Where is your lord? He was here yesterday, wasn't he? Come now, sir. We both know where I will end up. <laughs> My lord is gone. He took most of the men and left. Where has he gone? What is he planning? He writes here about taking some castle. Which castle? <laughs> oh, some nearby castle. Left completely unguarded. Now I wonder where it could be. <laughs> what are you saying, you horse son? Talmberg. Did he go to Talmberg? <laughs> You'll never get him. He'll never get... What? Were you planning on sending him to some monastery to become a monk? I believe we have some work to do, Sir Dibbish, do we not? Mount up, gentlemen. We don't have any time to waste. Greetings. We... we were ambushed. We need assistance. We have wounded men here. Open the gate. The Lord be praised. Here! Come on! Lady Stephanie, I, I really don't think we should... My lady. Master man! Come on, master! My men are gravely wounded. Without treatment, I'm afraid they won't live to see morning. Hiya! Hiya! Not to worry. We'll take care of them. My lady, you have my uttermost gratitude. May God reward you for your kindness. Every Christian should help his neighbor in his hour of need. True. Yeah! Especially now, yeah! when treachery and deception surround us on all sides. Get out of the way! The devil lurks in the shadows. Come on! And one fears taking a guest into his house. <laughs>
like a man! <laughs> I don't think so. I like it better right here. Would you rather hide behind my wife like some mangy whelp? I could just as easily cut her throat. I have hostages enough and strong walls to protect me. Bring him here. Radzig? What do you want, you viper? Let me think. Oh, actually, there's nothing I want from you. Except maybe to see you all die. Fire! Burn it down!
Christ. Uh, are you all right? Uh, I'll live. Oh. Whew. But I don't think I'll be wielding a sword for a while. Oh, we have men enough for sword wielding. A good lord is harder to come by. How the hell did they get Radzik? I didn't make it to the gate. He was charging against reinforcements from the castle. We have to save Sir Rab my father, somehow. And we have to save my wife and get our home back. My friend, I think you know as well as I, we have to lay siege. No. No, that is our last resort. We have to try all our other options. Sir, if a few men could scale the western wall after dark, maybe they could get inside, free the hostages, and open the gate. That is, if they're holding them in the courtyard, as we've always done. Well, that's a big if. What if they're seen and they can't raise the portcullis quietly? Sir Hanish, if we can save just one hostage. It's a perilous undertaking. Who would you send? I'll go. Then let us make ready. I'd better get ready for the night raid. Some light clothing would be best. Dark colours. I must reward you for saving my livelihood. If folk believed the stories, well, I dread to think how it could have ended up. But the bad stone wasn't even from your quarry. Still, sometimes words can hurt a man more than a blow from a mace. Here's your reward. You've earned it, lad. God be with you. I have some trophy. They deserved it, the bastard. I'm ready. Are you sure? You should wear lightweight black clothing. Anything you don't need, you can leave here. I don't want you clanking around in plate armor. Yes, I'm ready to go. If any of you are having second thoughts, this is your last chance to speak. Very well. So I hope we're all clear on what has to be done. We need to free the hostages to deprive Toth of his advantage. Now he'll be keeping them somewhere where they can be guarded, but somewhere separate from his other men. And where would that be? We always kept our captives in the house on the bailey by the stables. What if they're in their tower or somewhere else? Then we'll have to go to the gate and try to open it. 
But that will take time and attract attention. So we can only do it if we know exactly how things stand. And if they sound the alarm, before we've done anything, we get out of there quick. Understood? And leave them there? Better a couple of hostages than a pile of corpses. Lord Capon, are you quite certain you want to engage in this action? Quite. After all, it can't be much different from sneaking out of the upper castle in Rate and back in every night. <laughs> Besides, who else will keep this hothead from raising bloody mayhem? Well, see to it that you do, my lord. May God guide our footsteps. We'll go first and take out the sentries. Wait here. What are they waiting for? Quiet for fuck's sake. What are they waiting for? How should I know? Why do I bother asking? Oh, be quiet and watch that light on the battlements. his armor and watch this side but there are still two guards on the portcullis winch to deal with any volunteers henry will do it buffoon henry then just make sure you keep quiet
What? Fuck, what are you doing here? Sandwich. Tired of life, are you? to admit we didn't do too well true the shame of it they drove us back before we even got anywhere it's worse than if they'd killed us well i wouldn't go that far we had to give it a try if we succeeded if pigs had wings now, i know it troubles you but it's not over yet we'll rescue the hostages and hang that bastard ish van Seems, Robard, that we're running out of options. We don't have enough men to scale the walls with ladders. And we can't afford to lose anymore. We can only take Talmberg by a ruse or with superior numbers. Ruses have failed, and we don't have superior numbers. Then we are left with no choice but to build a trebuchet. To demolish my own walls. <sighs> Where is Master Fafar? He's waiting. We sent for him as soon as... Bring him to me. Let's not waste time. Sir Divi. You will build me a trebuchet, Master Tobias. Uh, uh, a <laughs> trebuchet, my lord? That's not entirely in my field of expertise. We have to take back Talmberg. Yes, indeed, sir. I understand and that. you but... are the best engineer we can rely on in the whole fiefdom. Oh, well, thank you, my lord. But it's, it's just that I've never built a trebuchet before. It's, this could take some time. Then you'd better get to it. Bernard will go over the plan of attack with you. Uh, I... Uh... Oh. Well, Master Tobias... You have much to do in little time. I will not keep you any longer. Indeed. Of course, sir. Thank you, my lord. How are the preparations proceeding in the other camps? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. There are still many things that need doing, but I just don't have the time for them. Mm. No, you don't. Henry. Yes, sir. I would like for you to help with the preparations and the encampments. Gladly, sir. Robard will brief you. That'll be all. What needs to be done? Look, a military encampment's a complicated thing. I don't expect it to be as peaceful and orderly as Holy Mass. But what we have here now is havoc. The men are as nervous and short-tempered as caged bears. When you walk around the camps, you'll see for yourself. Grumbling everywhere, complaints about everything from the gruel to the fleas. They're moaning they've drunk the alehouse dry, and now they have to wait for the next batch of beer. <sighs> We've got dead who deserve a decent burial, and a lot of wounded, including one of their lordships. The less the troops grumble, the better off we'll all be. But that's not even the main problem. What do you mean? Did you hear what Sir Divish was saying to Fafar, our master builder? I heard some of it. And what did you make of it?
He said he'd never built a trebuchet catapult. I wouldn't even know where to start, but he might. But if it'll take him as long as he said, we can't wait until Judgment Day. We don't have that much time. I'll try to ask him if I can help in some way. You should definitely do that. Without a trebuchet, we're much too weak. How are you faring, Sir Raybart? How do you think I'm faring, lad? There's some cutthroat thug lolling about in my bed at the castle. Well, at least no one's raised Talmberg. Not so far. Though we may end up doing it ourselves to smoke the bastard out. I imagine Sir Divish isn't taking it too well. And why do you think he handed command over to me? But it pains my heart, too. That place is my home. What's the easiest way to take back Talmberg? The easiest way? <laughs> Call in the Royal Army and leave it to them. But there's no Royal Army to help us now, and we can't afford to wait. What's more, we don't want to destroy the castle. Personally, I'd like to return to it. Repairing the castle would be expensive. And time-consuming. No trebuchet is wholly on target. The missiles fly as they please. And if we blast the castle to pieces and Sigismund comes back, he'll make short work of us. Do you think Sigismund will come back? How do I know what's in his head? But if he doesn't take advantage of this chaos, someone else probably will. The whole country will know about it soon enough. I'd never have thought so many people were keeping an eye on Talmberg. Like that fellow Havel. Not only Talmberg. And we've left precious few men in Ratai. If we're defeated here, who's to stop them from pillaging the whole province? And there's no shortage of power-hungry bastards like Havel and Toth in Bohemia. Is there some way we can get through the gate? There are steps from the gate up to the walkway on the battlements, and I don't know how Istvan's covering them. Then there's the portcullis to get through. A big battering ram might breach it, but how could you get one that close? I reckon we'll have to set fire to it. Stuck up brushwood and light it? Brushwood, timber, anything that burns, soaked in as much pitch as possible. The local charcoal burners surely have some. And even if it doesn't burn the gate right down, it'll weaken it and make it easier to break through. Exactly. And what about the walls? Which side is the most vulnerable? The south and east are solid. It would be useless to try anything there. It's best defended from the north, and as for the west... From the west is where we tried it, and got royally fucked, if you recall. But I think in the end we'll try that way again, only this time we'll do it better. Pity they didn't stay holed up in Vranik for longer. It would have been much easier there. Toth is a wily fox. If he'd had all his men with him there, there would have been real carnage. It's likely we only won there because he'd already gone and taken most of his best soldiers with him. Is there anything you can tell? The truth. Pity they didn't stay. Toth is a what? Is there anything else I can help with? Well, we need some pitch. I know you had dealings with the charcoal burners. I've met a few, true enough. Then have a look around the area. If you manage to find any pitch, bring it to our quartermaster in the camp at the quarry. God be with you. <laughs> I'm at your service, Sir Knight. How are we doing with the food? Who wants to know? One of their lordships? No, no. I just wondered if there was anything you're short of. Oh, I see. The lordling is wondering if we're in urgent need of anything. Well, well. To tell the truth, we don't have much meat. They bring it round often enough, but never as much as they should. Yes, I've heard something like that. I'll say. Every other man's moaning on about it. The gamekeepers are doing all they can, but they can't keep up. So if you know how to help them out, bring it right here. I'll take care of the rest. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. Do we have any beer? Christ, I wish we did. 
Our ale's all gone, and we've drained the local inn dry. <sighs> That's bad news. Don't I know it. You can't go and catch a beer in the woods, either. But if you happen to know about some, let's hear it. News like that, it refreshed me almost as much as a drink. And the lads, too. May the Lord watch over you. I brought you some meat. Stack it over here. That's the lot. Great. If we're really going to have to storm the walls, then at least it should be with full bellies. Oh, and here's something for your trouble. May the Lord watch over you. <laughs> God be with you. I need to bring a few kegs of beer back to Townburg. To Townburg? Why? Actually, it doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm running low on beer, and I've no kegs left. Ask again later, or go ask elsewhere. God's blessings. What can I do for you? I need to bring a few kegs of beer back to Townburg. I've hardly any beer left. But I have got a lot of goat's milk. You think that might lift their spirits? Take care. Good health to you. Andrew, there's no more beer in Talmberg, and the soldiers are starting to grumble. Can't you send some there? I could. There's nothing in it for me. Just as a matter of interest, who do you pay your taxes to? <laughs> You're saying I should be paying the Talmberg to old Sir Divish? <laughs> when Sir Havel of Valdeck was the master here, I managed to wriggle out of it. Nobody's come collecting since. Well, right now, there are three noblemen camped by Talmberg, one of whom might be very interested to learn about all the tax you owe. I imagine he might want to collect it in the form of beer. Hmm. When you put it like that, I have got a few kids I could send over. I won't lose out too much. They'd only spoil if I kept them longer, and I'd have to throw them away. Just remember, if you poison them, they'll hang you for it. Those soldiers are drinking up long before it has time to go on. And what's more, what with all that cabbage being eaten, it wouldn't occur to anyone in the ships came courtesy of the beer. I'll have them loaded up right away and taken there. And give their lordships my regards. Tell them I'm sending my best beer as a gift. Why the devil should I get some good one out of this at least?
I hope I can be of some humble service to you. I've arranged some beer for you from the local tavern. You're a proper treasure, you are. I'm gonna put a word in about how well you look after us. Like your own kith and kin. May the Lord watch over you. Greetings. What business have you? How do you feel, Sir Divish? How's the shoulder? I felt better, boy. Ugh. I feel awful, truth be told. And my shoulder's paining me. Let someone tend to the wound and you'll soon be better. My flesh can be healed, perhaps. But the spirit... Henry, can you do something for me? What is it you need, sir? I need a priest as well as a physician. The closest was in Rovna, but I don't know what happened to him. And then there's the one from Ujits. What's his name? Godwin. But why would you need a priest? The wound will heal, especially with the help of one of the monks. It's not about me. I've got a lot of wounded here that won't see mourning and dead men, and I have to confess my sins. Good luck. Help! <laughs> Help! 